Bell Zelfin is a cosplayer and internet personality. He used to have millions of followers on Instagram before her account was taken down after people reported her. Bell has gotten herself quite the controversial reputation over the last couple of years, and it's not just because she sold literal jars of her bath water. You are about to hear the top 10 shocking facts about Bell Zelfin you won't believe. No, really, you won't believe them. Welcome back to another tea spilling IO top 10. I'm Charlotte. Thanks for checking out another video. I realize we've gotten more and more into the top 10 format over the last few weeks, and that's honestly because you guys have shown us a lot of support for them. Like the top 10s are doing better than our news videos. Yeah, they're new and people don't like change, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying them for the most part because they're both challenging. And if you haven't already, you should subscribe for daily trending content. Turn on the bell so you never miss a video. Follow the IO team on social media so we can connect outside of YouTube and stick around for some bonus content. All right, let's get into these super shocking facts, shall we? And trust me, number one is a doozy. Easing right into it at number 10, Belle Delphine's real name is Belle Kirshner. She was born in Cape Town, South Africa on October 23rd, 1999, which means her birthday is today. Happy birthday, Belle Delphine. Belle was actually born with a dislocated hip that required a ton of surgeries to correct. According to a tweet from February 2019, Belle said that she was born with a dislocated hip and she had many operations until eventually her hip was fixed. Moving right along now to number nine, Belle Delphine lives with her parents and they support what she does, at least. That's what she claims. We know Belle Delphine lives with her parents because one of her only videos on her YouTube channel shows her giving a room tour of a very elaborate decorated bedroom. And according to a comment reply where the commenter asks, do your parents support you putting adult content for the world to see? And Belle Delphine replies, yee, I always told them what I do. My mom did modeling, so she always understood. In at number eight, a news outlet said back in 2018 that Belle was reported to the IRS by angry fans and ended up in court over unpaid taxes. There are actually a lot of models and internet personalities to accept payment through PayPal for lewd content. Problem is that counts as income and they aren't paying taxes on that income. The article said that Bell ended up being fined $60,000, but in reality, the article was a hoax. Coming in at number seven, Bell sold 500 units of her bath water at $30 a pop. Bell says that she got the idea to sell her bath water from her fans. The first round of the bath water sold out very quickly on the first day of the launch. She also ended up selling a $10,000 tub of her bath water and someone actually bought it. In at six, she does not have herpes. After the bathwater stunt went viral, there were rumors floating around that people got herpes from Bell's bathwater and had been hospitalized. The rumors originated from a fake Daily Mail Twitter account and a post that had thousands of favorites. After seeing that post, fans dug up photos of Belle Delphine where she had sores on her lips, leading people to believe that she had the disease, which added fuel to that fire. Despite rumors that were floating around, Belle Delphine doesn't have herpes. She addressed this claim in an Instagram caption that said, LMAO, so there's been a lot of fake news going around that I want to address. Nobody's been hospitalized from my bathwater or have gotten sick. All of these memes were posted before I shipped any out. She also said that the sores on her lips pop up during specific seasons, which is a pretty common thing. You know what else is common though? Cold sores, which is another form of herpes, just more socially acceptable. <laughs> and at number five on our list, she's not as much of a thought as everyone says. Let me explain. Belle Delphine supposedly sells lewd content on her Patreon page, and she has a premium Snapchat that costs $50 to follow. Those are things that adult film stars do to make extra money. But the truth is, there isn't that much lewd content of Belle Delphine out there. There's a couple of private photos of her floating around, but that's pretty much it. Patreon subscribers pay for lewd content but instead she sends and posts suggestive content. Pretty much her Patreon page is a total scam, but I guess people don't seem to mind because she's got thousands of supporters who pay her monthly. At number four now, back in early 2019, Belle Delphine famously said on Instagram that if her photo got 1 million likes, she'd make a account. To which the site responded, this is the best news I've heard all year. And well, she actually made the account, but it was all one big joke. The 12 videos she posted had very suggestive titles, but were somewhat of a disappointment to her fans who were hoping to see just a little more. Word on the street is she has been offered deals with adult entertainment agencies, but as far as I know, apart from a few leaked photos and quick snaps, there are no full length videos of Belle Delphine of that nature. Coming into the number three slot, she apparently wears fake braces. Belle is 19 years old, 20 years old tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this video, which is pretty late in life to be wearing braces. She also doesn't wear braces consistently. In some photos and videos she wears them, in others she doesn't. There's also this photo from 2016 that shows her with totally straight teeth. So why would someone wear fake braces? Some people say that this is because Belle's online persona is one that attracts two kinds of men. 
young boys, and total creeps. She looks very young in many of her photos and she also dresses like a child. You do the math. Belle has responded to the claim that she wears fake braces saying in a comment, my bottom teeth were one millimeter off the lowest bracket which meant I could get free braces. I guess it's uh, difficult to know for sure. Almost there now at number 2, Belle earns 6 figures annually. Belle Delphine earns a minimum of $50,000 from her Patreon page a year and that's only if all her patrons pay a $1 subscription fee. It's clearly a lot more than that because average subscriptions are more like $12 each. With 2,475 patrons, if all of them are spending at least $12 a month, she likely makes around $300,000 a year. And I haven't even counted the $2,500 tier. There's a tier on Belle's Patreon where people pay her $2,500 a month for content. And in at number one, the most shocking fact of all, Belle Delphine has been accused of stealing other girls' lewd photos and selling them as her own while she was underage. And there's pretty solid proof to back up these accusations. In a video called The End of Belle Delphine, by Indigo White, Indigo talks about an incident where two years ago, Belle was contacted by a guy who said that they could make a few thousand dollars a month if she helped him steal girls nudes off of Tumblr and sell them as if they were hers. She was 17 at the time. Illegal. People found out about it and started to write comments on her Instagram posts which Belle would delete. She still hasn't owned up to the claim to this day. And she hasn't apologized to the girls that she stole the photos from. Well guys, there you have it. Which one of these facts shocked you the most? Let me know in those comments. While you do that, I'm gonna respond to some comments from past videos. Let's start things off with Malakas. Can Io always use Charlotte as a host? Love her. I appreciate that my dear, but I cannot research, write, and film 28 videos per week, plus pick stories and make thumbnails. I uh, I feel like that would be really hard, and um, that's a lot of work, bruh. Like, Landon pays me okay, but not that that well. <laughs> this and that said, I love your channel even more now that you are subscribed to Big Lad Wilney. Your channel was on his latest second channel video, S W. No way. I will have to check that out. Cool. Richard said, "Oh my God, I love your videos. They are so awesome and informative. Thank you for teaching me something new each video. P.S. You look like Willa Holland. Really? I don't. I don't, I don't think I see it. Yeah." No, I don't see it. That is it for me and thanks for watching. If you want to keep watching this channel, we put together a playlist for you with a bunch of videos like this one. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Stick around for some bonus content and subscribe so I can see you in a future IO video. For some bonus content, subscribe if you can if you want to eat a dick. <laughs> uh,